So, um, yeah, this is, like you said, this is a bit of a different um, type of medical device. It's, um, we 3D print, but we 3D print a prescription lenses. Um, and um, we now see a very interesting development. That is that we are right at the intersection between health and technology, because as I'm gonna show you in a second, there's a big trend going where um, prescription lenses are merging with smart devices, as in smart eyewear devices. And we happen to be right at the intersection where all of this is happening. So um, let me walk you through this. So first, about, about, first of all, about our company. We are a uh, 3D printing company, of course, and we 3D print lenses, and we are the only ones in the world actually able to 3D print lenses today. There are many other 3D printing technologies out there, but none of them are able to make lenses. Um, make lenses. Um, they don't have the smoothness or the accuracy required or the full transparency that you require, obviously, for lenses. So the company has been around for a number of years and we started off by trying uh, prototyping of different lenses. And we're now actually um, uh, focused very much on the, only on the prescription eyewear lenses. We're a technology company, so we have many patents. Um, the technology we use to 3D print is a jetting technology. So it's an inkjet technology. So we build our lenses with tiny little droplets, as you will see in uh, my next slides. Um, we have developed the hardware, the software, the materials, and all the consumables required to make this work. And um, we, uh, our customers are, on the one hand, people who need um, uh, companies who, who sell prescription eyewear, but also um, smart tech companies like the um, the smart companies that we buy our phones from. All of those are our customers and we're right at the intersection between um, smart and um, prescription. So why is this relevant? So on the left side, you see typical smart glasses as they are today. They're huge devices. And one of the primary reasons why these um, smart hardware devices are so big is that all these tech companies, they've sidestepped the health challenges. So on the health side, you have uh, people need vision correction. So because you cannot see without your glasses. And so the tech companies don't know how to deal with um, typical health challenges that you know, all of us here in this conference are familiar with. So basically they sidestep the issue. They make people wear their glasses underneath the smart devices. So what we, with our technology enable, we can actually make the lenses on the right where you have prescription that allows you to see outside. And at the same time, we include the smart that all these tech companies are developing. And only if this happens, if only if you combine vision correction with smart technology, only then will you get uh, smart devices, smart eyewear for consumer markets. And that is what we're aiming for. So as you know, you well, as you might not know, I don't know, <laughs> is that, um, but close to 70% of people today need vision correction. So um, that means that um, in this conference, seven out of 10 people will actually need some form of uh, glass correction to be able to see. And there's a whole epidemic going on where that is slowly increasing. Um, the expectation is that it's gonna be 80% by 2030. And there are already today certain areas in the world where 90% um, of people need vision correction. And needless to say that um, as soon as you get over the age of 40, you probably need um, presbyopia correction anyway to be able to read. So um, vision correction is a major trend in the world and pretty much everybody will touch it at one point or another. Next to that, there's this whole smartphone revolution that everybody wants to have a smartphone and i bet that everybody here in this conference has a smartphone in his pocket or on the table next to him and uh, the dream of course of all the big companies selling you a smartphone is to combine these two devices so combine the health aspect of vision correction so the glasses that you're wearing with the smartphone technology that these companies have these will all end up being smart eyewear devices, and that will only work if you actually address the health aspect of it, which is the prescription, which is exactly what we offer um, 
all these companies. So we do two things. We make smart eyewear look like normal eyewear by addressing the prescription in the device. And at the same time, we offer a manufacturing technology that allows you to make this medical device efficiently and simple by replacing the many process steps by one 3D printer. That is basically what we as a company do. So how does this work? We start with a bottle of ink. We generate tiny little droplets of a monomer that we deposit exactly in the right spot. And then we cure it with UV light and the lenses are ready to be used once they come out of the printer. So there's no polishing involved and we can actually build the lenses um, as we go. So it's fully transparent. There's no polishing involved and it has ophthalmic quality. I have a little video here, two little videos actually, that show you how it works in real life. So you see that uh, the stage goes underneath the print heads and at each step, in this case, four lenses are printed at each pass, a uh, new layer of material is applied. These are the print heads that generate the droplets. My glasses, by the way, are 3D printed. And there's about 1 billion droplets in each glass. And so we build these lenses uh, step by step, layer by layer, droplet by droplet, and we can make all kinds of shapes as you can probably imagine. And of course the material is an ophthalmic quality material and we can make all the prescriptions that are uh, required, um, even the exotic ones. Um, on the right side here, we've actually put the camera inside the printer and you can actually see how um, at each, and so we've actually removed all the movement in between, so it looks even more magical. But you can see how we built lenses out of nowhere. We built lenses on a substrate and you can see the lenses grow and we've removed the area where you see the droplets depositing down. So um, it looks even more magical, like I said, and <laughs> but we're building these lenses uh, um, uh, from the top, so we're applying the droplets and we're curing them in place. And you can see we can make all kinds of different shapes of the lenses by doing this. And we can address all kinds of different prescriptions. And there's many more examples of this. Actually, if you go on our website, you can see more examples of lenses we have printed in all kinds of hyperopia, presbyopia, uh, in prisons, cylinders, any prescription, any, any shape that you require for your prescription. Um, Okay. So, um, important question is why would you want to 3D print lenses? Well, it's more efficient, like I showed earlier, it's very uh, simple, it's one machine that does it all. Um, it allows you to make uh, custom shapes when you need them and where you need them. There's virtually no waste involved, where traditional lens making has a lot of waste. So all, I think, understandable um, advantages that you see in many areas of 3D printing. We do one thing specifically with our technology, you can actually make the smart glasses, which is really the uh, subject of my talk is the conversion of smart and prescription. And that is what you see here. This is an actual example of a waveguide, which is an imaging device that we have integrated into a prescription lens. And you can see how um, there's curvature on both sides. Um, on the right side, you see the mounting where the imaging projector goes on to bring the image to your eyes. And in the top side, you can see that the lens is fully transparent and um, it's, uh, it's, use, it's perfectly usable. So this is an example of something that we're developing for um, the tech companies that um, you are all familiar with. Uh, another thing we can do with our technology is we can bed all kinds of films inside uh, lenses, also for many other medical applications. Um, we can use it to uh, reduce UV light or um, certain other uh, disturbing types of light. We can block off certain areas of the lens if medical, for medical reasons. We can also integrate polarizer filters and all kinds of colors inside the lens. So it's, a, um, it's, it's really a way to customize lenses to specific patient needs. Um, this is um, an example of another active film that we have integrated in our lens. You can see we have actually, um, you can use this. Uh, this is where healthcare and fashion come together. So you can have sunglasses, but also you can protect people's eyes from, um, from, uh, from certain types of light, or you can even integrate it for different aspects, for different applications. Um, you can block all kinds of uh, different images if you want. And this is an example where we 3D print around um, an active film. 
Um, this is uh, actually a preview here, what we're gonna show pretty soon. This is what we're doing on these smart glasses. You see these glasses are not 100% the way we want them to be, but they're really getting close. They don't look like the ugly smart glasses that we're all familiar with. Um, I'm trying to get this movie to start. You can actually see this is a device we printed and you can see that we can project the images right in the glasses. You can see the lens, it looks like a normal lens with some cables attached. The frame on the top is the frame that's going to be put in. And the bottom, you see the bearded guy wearing the smart glasses and he can actually, um, this would be something you can actually wear out there. And this is something that uh, we're developing for a number of the tech companies um, that you are familiar with. So in summary, uh, what does the technology do? Well, it really, um, allows you to 3D print lenses on a daily basis. We have customers doing that. So we've developed the hardware, the software, and the materials. Um, we have customers today that are printing these lenses in volume. So it's a volume manufacturing technology. The lenses are obviously uh, certified, um, ISO, ANSI, and of course FDA, so that they are um, usable as normal prescription lenses. And now we're entering the phase where we can actually integrate um, all kinds of devices into these uh, prescription lenses. And um, we think this will open the door now to um, smart glasses combined with prescription. So that you can use them every day. You can see the real world and you can see the virtual world. You can look at your phone without looking at your phone. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's an advantage, but that's what we offer. And um, it's really where healthcare and smart technology come together. Um, yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to tell you. Um, any questions, any comments?